and sign the kids up for an experimental drug trial. You always want a big enough prop rod. Check your crack, guys. You never know what you'll find. I've never really removed a seat with a goat on it. Woo, 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 woo. It has floorboards. We're not yeah. used to that. Huh? Did you check it for my seat? Oh, look at that smile. He's got your teeth, Ralphie. I've seen some 71-year-olds in worse shape. Sorry, all I heard was Fairmont wagon. Don't get on your Crocs. If I ever see you in a pair of Crocs. Think so? Yeah. What is that? Do you guys ever wear shoes? <coughs> Sorry, got a booger in my throat. What well, they do? Run this thing through the field? I thought they went four-wheel driving. Water mud. At only half the price and a third the taste. I wonder if this thing will drift. Hopefully our hood safety catch works. With all the gears you got, I have bumps for armpit hairs. Yeah. Have we ever been stuck and not made it home? <laughs> <laughs> oh, let's go look at some cars. Oh, oh, yeah. oh, look at that. Welcome back to the Sleeper Dude YouTube channel. We're here again with the 51 Studebaker Land Cruiser. This thing's got an overhead valve V8 hog leg motor in it. Got a three-speed manual on the column with overdrive. And today, we're going to work on getting it run a little better, getting the casings where they're hold air, cleaning it up, and taking it out for the first time out on the road and seeing how this thing performs out on the road. So, here we go. She's weed-eating today, isn't she? Somebody needs to. Come on. We got to make a video today. We're going to work on the Studebaker. I think we're going to start out by trying to drain the fuel tank. I noticed this morning that this thing has a drain under here. If this thing will come loose, we can just drain it and not have to drop the tank. It's just like a quarter inch. Oh, yeah. We've had trouble. Like the Metro might, it wouldn't come loose. Let's see if it has any fuel in it. Oh, yeah. So we're going to drain this, put some fresh fuel on it. That way we won't have to have the boat tank anymore on the front bumper. The police might not like that. Oh, shoot. I don't like putting my hands in fuel. There you go, there was some chunk in there. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and switch here. It's got a lot of fuel in it. Man, the price of fuel these days, I could probably get 50 bucks for that right there. It doesn't look too clear, does it? On the Money River. It's about out now. I don't know, it probably had at least eight gallons or something in it. I think that's good enough for who it's for. We're just down to the drips now. It's awesome that this thing had a drain plug. That makes it so much easier. Man, the fuel cap is way down in here. So we went ahead and signed the kids up for an uh, experimental drug trial, and they gave us a cash advance, so we got enough to go to get one can of gas for this thing. That should be enough right there. So we're going to go ahead and take this old fuel hose off here and hook up our new fuel hose back to the factory tank. So yes, we do have a hood for it. It has nice paint, but it doesn't match. But we don't have hood hinges, and I believe our latch is broke as well. Okay, we're going to back this thing out of here now if it'll run and not get stuck going up the hill. It keeps getting stuck on the wet grass, but... You can see before you get out there how much barn dust is on this thing. It was sitting in the guy's shed for several years. So we got quite a bit of dust to get off this thing to get it back on the road. Right, Squeeze? drive a lot better now if you watch the video of us where we showed our inventory and what we bought and sold we uh figured out that the firing order was wrong with this thing and it seems to be running better since then i think we still have a struggling accelerator pump but it does seem to be running a whole lot better than what it was look look how nice it's idling now Perfect. 
That door's a little stiff, isn't it? Their door handle's not working anymore. Oh, the inside door handle's not working? Oh, it's just still. It must be off the splines a little bit, huh? Now our plan is to get the other casing, get a tube in it and get it on here because we want to have the white walls in all four corners. We'll probably do that after we wash this. This video brought to you by Better Velu, Comida de Macarones, and Queso. If you like Velveeta, but you don't have the envelope for it, Better Velu is the right macaroni for you. At only half the price and a third the taste, it's the perfect macaroni for people on a budget who just want their noodles to be orange. Now back to our regularly scheduled broadcast. So I'll give you a quick walk around here. We got some spotty action there. Obviously it's very dusty and dirty. We got some spare parts and a bunch of junk in here. It's, I'm just glad we were able to use the factory tank. That was pretty quick, huh? That was awesome. But we'll get the other casing on there as the plan. We got a couple broken pieces of glass, unfortunately. This one's broke. That one's broke. That one's broke. It must've been some sort of little Ralphie shooting his BB gun or something, huh? Was Ralphie shooting his BB gun at it? Some other Ralphie. Ciao, Wawa. Wawa's got our other casing here we gotta clean up. I'm assuming these seats have been redone. I'm not sure what the factory interior would have looked like, but you can let me know in the comments if that's a uh, factory interior. I, I don't know, I'm just guessing it's been redone. I'm not sure. I love the factory hand-painted gauges. Those are really cool. It's showing 62,000 miles. Look at that. I love that. Isn't that cool? So let's start by cleaning out the trunk. You always want a big enough prop rod that it won't break it and fall on you. So I, I think we got a big enough one here, but we're gonna get our stuff out of here. We got some spare brake parts and some old, I don't know, I guess that's the interior that was inside the trunk. That is, uh, looks like that's a driver's rear window frame, but it doesn't match this car because we don't have that big thick molding. That, look, that must be off a different body style or something. Oh, you got a light bulb, okay. We got brake parts. This stuff right here is just gonna be throwaway. I don't, I don't see any reason to keep that. But you got another piece. It's so stiff. Oh, that brake spring stiff. I don't know what this is for. Yeah, I guess get all the little cotter pins and bolts and stuff, and we'll save them in case we need them for the brakes. We got Rocky going, going through the stuff over here and making sure everything's for this actual car. Yeah, we might need any of these bolts and washers and stuff, so we better keep them. Here's our sending unit. I love it when a car has access hole for the sending unit. So we got the remnants of the <laughs> will it start video in here. <laughs> and what do we got? Oh, look at that. How cool is that, huh? And then we got some more brake retainers here, a radiator cap, some sort of light bezel. Another new brake hose. So there's definitely some brake issues. And then this is the hood release cable that's broke. What is in the seat here? No way! The orange man was stuck in the back seat crack in a Ziploc bag. I wish we'd have known this was- You better check that crack for more. Yeah, check your crack, guys. You never know what you'll find. I wish we'd have known we had this before. It looks brand new. Look at that, there's the frame and look, it shows you how to change. This is like the old bumper jacks if you're changing your casings out. So we got an old brake hose here. Looks like a prop rod. I wonder too, I don't think these are the factory. No, these are Ford seat belts. So somebody tell me what year these seat belts were made right there. They kind of look like what was in our old Thunderbird we had. He is so nosy. He gets into everything. I think I found, is that the headlight knob? Is that what that is? Looks like a knob for the headlights. It says like you dim, the, dim or brighten the dash maybe. Is that the heater? There's two without a knob. Looks like the heater core is under the passenger side front seat. I probably should pop this back seat out if I can with a goat on it. I've never really removed a seat with a goat on it. Look at that. <laughs> woo, 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 woo. How long are you going to ride? He's already been on eight seconds. <laughs> you have to get off, Rocky. We can't video with you on it. We have to get the seat out. I'll let you back in when you get out here. Come on. Just video on goat butts. <laughs> yeah, Penelope the cat's out here inspecting now. All right, let's see what's under the back seat here. Let's see what kind of condition it's in. This is a thick back seat. Any goodies in there? Any silver dollars? I don't see anything. I don't see much there. It has floorboards. We're not yeah. used to that. Yeah, we're not here. used to having cars with a floorboard. Yes, yeah, score. Goody, does it have any masses in it? 
Huh? Did you check it for mice? Okay, I think we got all the big stuff out of here. I think we're gonna get our vacuums out now and start vacuuming this thing out. You was a good helper. You're a good boy. Yeah, our vacuum's been through a lot. No. Check us out on other platforms at Sleeper Dude 88. I love how this car you can go straight through it with the suicide doors in the back. This is the third suicide door sedan we've had, Tosh. And you get the, to keep one. The 67 Lincoln, the 67 Thunderbird, and now this 51 Studebaker. I love this stuff back here. This is just, you don't see that after like the cars in the 50s. That yeah, that thing like cantilevers out of there. It's weird how it goes up and then down. A viewer sent Ralphie his own little vacuum, so we're going to be working with two vacuums today, get it done even faster. That was awesome, wasn't it? Oh, look at that smile. Oh, my God. He's got your teeth, Ralphie. Oh, my gosh, they're so oh crooked. Geez. I've never looked at them. Like nothing up top. Oh, there's no, they have no upper teeth? Uh-uh. <laughs> <laughs> He's a good boy. The ones in the back will cut your finger off. Yeah. Oh, yeah, he'll cut right through an yeah. electrical wire. Let's vacuum this thing out before Rocky eats all the seat covers off this thing. <laughs> So it's not too bad back here for a car that's, you know, 71 years old. Uh, I've seen some 71 year olds in worse shape, but we got a little bit right here in the bottom of where the spare tire well used to be. Uh, we got a little bit right there. The worst part is right here above the fuel filler. I guess maybe some mud or salt probably got packed up in there at one point off the casings and, and rusted that spot out, but not, not bad overall really, huh? Yeah. Got some broken glass here, huh? We're gonna get this done. You always want to vacuum your ceiling. What are you going to try on this? I'm going to try some of this uh, Resolve carpet cleaner, see if we can get this seat looking a little bit better. Sorry, all I heard was Fairmont wagon. Oh man, wow, that's a big shot there. Was that a 250 shot? <laughs> Reckon. Don't get on your Crocs. <laughs> I'll take a pair. If I ever see you in a pair of Crocs. So we're going to let that sit for a little yeah, bit and soak in? Soak in. <laughs>
Wawa's gonna get on this back carpet and clean up these spots a little bit for us. Coming up? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, a lot of the spots are gone. I mean, there's so few, but most of it's gone. Wow, good job, girl. Thank you. I don't know if there's much hope for that seat. Oh, wow. Oh. Is that taking it off? Yeah, it is. You're so negative. <laughs> I'm not used to cleaning this stuff up to this level. We gotta step it up for the studie. Yeah. It's kind of incredible what kind of shape that's in. Usually those are rotten. All right, let's clean the dash. Okay. I love these old, I always love old gauges in cars. They look so cool. You know, a lot of times they're hand painted, you know, yeah. on these old cars. I just love painted dashes too. Like the fact that they painted the whole dash is so cool. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Usually they have like little cup holder indentions in those for when you're at the picture show. Okay, okay. okay. Oh. oh, oh wow. Man, fogger kit, huh? <laughs> Don't you love how the rearview mirror is? Like, yeah. right in the middle of the dash? It, 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 it's like a, it makes you I can't believe the glass is in that good shape. Look, look. I see. <laughs> Usually those mirrors, they start bubbling up and looking terrible, but that one's really good shape still. Look how nasty that is. That's crazy. That is disgusting. <laughs> What we'll is up. yellow stuff like? It's on the well, the glass it starts bubbling over time. Oh, yeah. Safety oh, glass. I figured out this goes on the inside of the door, so that is a passenger rear door window frame. It goes for right there. Man, it's a shame how much glass is broken this car. Isn't it funny how tall that back seat is? Yeah. Usually they're not that thick. Did you get it cleaned up, Squeeze? Yeah. Think so? Yeah. This is way more effort than we normally put in to clean the seat. And I think so. Yeah. Oh, look, our casings already went flat. I felt it, I felt it go down as I was sitting on it. I felt it like oh my slowly. God. Yeah. That's plain, that's plain. This stuff ain't free. Rocky's back. Oh, he's gonna check and see how good we did in here. Don't you leave any raisins in here, Rocky. Is it coming clean, Squeezy? Yeah. Is it pretty dirty? Mm -hmm. I know the outside is pretty dirty, yeah. So it has no rear shelf in it. You can see straight into the trunk in this thing. Ew. Ew. This carpet actually came out really nice. The girls did a really good job on it. That helped a lot. Well, you usually don't go this far, but it did really help a lot. We're gonna let the seat sit over here in the sun while we're washing the outside of the car. Maybe it'll dry out some. Maybe it won't be too wet by the time we try to drive this thing. Oh, it's so hot. It is hot. It's like, what's it supposed to be, 100 today? Yeah. Close to it? All right, now I think we're gonna get started washing the outside. We're gonna have to be a little careful about getting water through them windows, but very dusty and dirty. Should make a big difference. Darn water should just make a big difference. What is that? Huh. Can't tell what it is, really. I, I wish the whole car had paint as good as this hood did. It looks really nice. After we wash it, we'll take some steel wool to these bumpers, and they ought to shine up really nice. You like that? Yeah. Do you guys ever wear shoes? Nope. What are y'all doing? Pulling your dogs off? Yeah. Your other foot. <laughs> oh, now Ellie's going to get in there. Usually, at this point, we're having to pressure wash the whole car to get the mold off of it and then bleach it but we're gonna get to skip several steps today i like to use the dawn with an old paint job like this i don't recommend it on a new newer car with nice paint but this is what i use for the older stuff i mean if it's good enough for baby ducks it's good enough for us right 
Oh, yeah. We're gonna put some I super clean on our white walls here and get them cleaned up like brand new. Yeah, that just appears. Yeah, that's good stuff. He likes the aerosol kind. Oh, yeah, I can see it coming off already. <coughs> Sorry, got a booger in my throat. You always want to clean your casings while they're flat. It's just so much easier. Look at that. I think some of the white wall went off with it. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah, that ain't a big difference. A bunch of mud up in there. What they do? Run this thing through the field? I don't know. I thought they went four wheel driving. That's probably where that rust is from in the back. A lot of mud. A lot of mud. They're just more fun to clean when they're white walls. Wait, are three of them red? And yeah. one blue? Yeah. I thought it was two reds and two blues. Okay. Ugh. Look at all that mud. Oh, it's like nobody ever washed this out. Get the mud out of your wheel wells and check your crack. This is just probably going to be our spare, but we'll clean it anyway. It's crazy. I don't think we've ever had a car so muddy since the interior on the 67 Thunderbird or something. We need to shovel the mud out of it. All right, let's rinse this dirt off. It's gonna make a big difference just the water. It does have some mold on there. We may have to bleach it. That funny back glass, isn't it? This is the biggest thing that cracks me up about this car is these big, huge bumper brackets with that metal panel over them. It's so funny. Well, I didn't think we had any mold spots in this thing. When I rinsed it off, I realized we do. So we're going to spray some bleach on this. You can't let Ralphie have the bleach dispenser, can you? No, everything gets bleached. Yeah, that should get those black spots off there, shouldn't it? Yeah. I guess that's kind of like squeezing lemons, huh? <laughs> Feels like it. Yeah, that bleach works wonders on those spots like that. You can see the girls have abandoned us now. <laughs> the AC was calling her name, huh? Yeah. I couldn't find my other brush. Oh, yeah. That works, though. Right? We're getting smarter about this. We're learning where to park when we have shame certain times of the day. It's smarter, not harder. <laughs> this is a weird front end to watch. It's so pointy. I think that's why it's called a bulldozer. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's a weird thing to watch. I wish the hood matched. That'd be nice. Has 
We're in unexplored territory, huh? <laughs> Don't make Ralphie cry. Please subscribe. So we're gonna try to get these rust stains off here with a little comment and a scrub brush. Oh wow. Did you use that on the windshield of my truck? Yeah, probably. Look at that. Disappeared. Isn't that crazy how that works? Going. Okay. I used to sand bumpers this way at the body shop. Tom and a scotch front. I think this front bumper should clean up pretty good. We're gonna get on it with some steel wool, and I think we'll use the common on it as well. Oh, oh yeah, look at that. Look how much it takes off. Makes a big difference. Yeah. Yeah, look at that. How much shinier it is now. Takes all that orange off of it. Little elbow grease goes a long way. Yeah. We don't have enough chrome left to work I on it, I don't think. You wanna try it? Right here. I guess they talked you into it. Yeah, they talked me into it. I guess it don't hurt to try. Where'd Rocky go? I think he's in a shade. Oh, he found a shady spot. It shined that corner up, didn't it? It did work on that. Yeah. It did not help. We almost forgot to clean our other casing we're going to put on here. These are sears, I noticed. I don't know if that's been reproduced or not. Oh. They even took the paint off of it that was on the white walls, didn't it? Yeah. Oh. We got it looking pretty good now. That really helped out. Man, that bumper is shining like crazy. Seems like that's coming off those white walls. We're gonna go ahead and put the tubes in the front casings that are going flat and uh, try to get this thing out on the road for the first time and who knows how long i don't know exactly how many years it's been since this has been drove but it's been several years me and ralph are going to try to swap this tube out in this thing hopefully we can get it done pretty easily there we go oh look at the rust that came out see that yeah Like pop or something? Yeah. Well, it's already been patched. Let's see where this leak is, Ralphie. Oh, it's right there. It's right at the valve stem. So we put just a little bit of air in this thing to give it a little bit of shape. A lot of times people will use baby powder or something, but I don't think I have any baby powder here. Now we're just gonna get this on without pinching our tube. 
Oh, there we go. Be nice to not have to fix the flat again, huh? Yeah. Every time we move this thing, we've had to air it up. All right, Rocky, one down, one to go. Remember, these things got backwards thread on this side. That one's flat on the bottom, isn't it? Yeah. It's called the old switcheroo, kids. This machine right here is worth all forty dollars. Hey, don't pop it. Oh, uh, there's a, a leak in their patch. I bet you could take that. We're gonna go ahead and paint this one and all we got it off. So that's why we dismantled the whole thing. Mom says it's gonna match. Okay, we gave that some time to dry now, and me and Ralphie's gonna mount this thing back up with the new tube. You comfortable down there? You lean mm -hmm. back, ain't you? I, yeah. I'm gonna screw this on here to make sure we don't lose our tube. Just like when you're eating food. Little bites, not big ones. There we go. It's nice to not have to get the bead right, because the, the tube will push it out on the bead. Is it gonna pop? Like, I don't think so. Not? All right, we're good. There you go. I wish we had the hubcaps for it. We gotta clean the other half of our casings back there. We got these things dirty again. Oh yeah, we got her looking good now. It's crazy how much mud was in this thing. I can't believe, I didn't expect to find that much mud in this car. Somebody must have really took her stump jumping or something. But yeah, she looks nice now. Matching hoops and white walls, I love it. Well, we've read over the owner's manual and we feel confident that we can drive this thing now, so. I think we're gonna take her out on the road. What do you think do a burnout? A burnout? Yeah. If you want to, we can try it. It doesn't take much to talk me into a burnout though, <laughs> honestly. I think it's gonna need probably all the help it can get. <laughs> well, we gave it a try. It, it's gonna break something if we do that. Is that too many donkeys or what? No, it's just the rear suspension. If it wheel hops, it'll break. We're, we don't want to break it. Break it, you bought it. Exactly. I almost forgot to put our seat back in it. Yeah. Man, that back carpet really did turn out nice. I love how much leg room there is back there. Do you notice that, Ralphie? Yeah. How much room there is? Yeah. Of course, this is the Land Cruiser, so it was the bigger model they made, but yeah, it has a lot of room. You ready to go, Ralphie? Yeah. All right. The girls don't want to ride. Can you believe it? No. What's wrong with them? I don't know why it doesn't stay out like it's supposed to. So we got oil pressure gauge. It uh, looks like our temperature gauge is working. It's really so much better now that we got the fire water right. Yeah. All right, here we go, Ralphie. It feels weird to drive a car down the road we haven't done brake work to already. Yep. Usually we got to fix all the brakes. So we've never been past first gear. Let's see. Second. Oh, yeah. Third. Man, it shifts smooth.
the gears you got? Well, we're not in overdrive. We have overdrive disengaged, but yeah, this is high gear. It's actually driving pretty smooth. Transmission's kind of whiny, isn't it? Yeah. It seems like the more we drove this thing, the better it's running. Uh, you know, a lot of times when something sits, everything gets rusty and stuck. And you can get some miles on it, it starts running better. The carburetor definitely seems to be doing better. I like driving a three on the tree. Well, would you rather have that or a four shifter? expecting these casings to be a little more square but they seem to be pretty round This thing does not hold itself back on the hill in overdrive. Have you ever had a manual car drag racing? Yeah, I used to take my turbo kit to the drag ship. It ran 920s and 8s. It was pretty fun. Yeah. It's fun drag racing in a manual. I, it's just kind of hard on parts. You can usually break more stuff with a high horsepower manual versus an automatic. Wait. It's pretty out here, isn't it? I love the old barns. Ralphie always loved the old barns. Before we had a barn, he used to always tell Tosh, oh, we need to buy a house with a barn. He was all about it. I have bumps for our pet hairs. It shifts smooth. You really could drive this thing. Like a lot of guys were saying that it would be a good daily driver. It has overdrive, transmission, overhead valve. And I, I believe it. The brakes are not the best though. I, I think they need new hoses, which, you know, there were some new hoses in the trunk we might put on it. You hit the brakes pretty hard, nothing really happens much. It's too bad the wind wings don't work because those are a lifesaver in the heat. We better get this thing home before it overheats on us or something. It's doing good so far though. It really floats, doesn't it? Like when you turn, yeah. but like the whole car rocks when you turn. I thought we had another car like that. Was it the Lincoln? Oh, uh, yeah, the Lincoln floated really bad. Yeah. Fast speed going? Uh, speed owner. I don't think our speed owner is working. It's stuck on 10 miles per hour, so I don't think it works. This will be the test right here. We've got it hot, and now we're going to go up a big hill on our way home. She'll make it up this hill. I'm just excited that we're like pulling fuel out of the factory tank and it hasn't overheated yet. We got good oil pressure. So far, so good. Think it'll make it, Ralphie? Yeah. It'll pull it in third gear, man. It's got plenty of power. Yeah, for a car built in 51, this was a hot rod back then. We have such good luck with cars. Like, we've made so many of these first drive videos, and we always make it home. Yeah. Have we ever been stuck and not made it home? Wait. Did the turbo poop burn down once when you were testing it? Like, we, how fast it broke? We had, yeah, it broke down one time, but we, I don't think we had to haul it home, did we? No. 
just been too good to us. I can't believe it. It drives so nice. It looked cool going down the road. The brakes aren't that great, but... Are they not? It does have brakes, though. That's the whole thing. Ralphie, I don't think the brakes are good enough for you to be driving this thing. It, they're really hard now. You gotta find some shade. Didn't even do so much at all. So what do you think, honey? I like it. Look? It looked cool going down the road. It has the coolest front end, doesn't it? Yeah. Definitely a good day to have a car with AC. And we don't have one of those today. The heat index is only 105. 105, not bad. That's why I parked in the shade. Yeah, she's doing good under here. Not a problem at all. Man, this thing's in good shape. I just realized we left our fire extinguishers and our tools here. <laughs> Can I open it? Yeah. Look at you go. Good job, Squeezy. Here, Dad. This went really well today. Uh, you know, I can't believe the luck we have test driving these things. Uh, we have great luck. I mean, if you watched our latest video at the car show, uh, I mean, we got eight cars there and back without having a real breakdown. Remember, pour one out for your homies, right on your dog's head. And uh, it's a perfect day for a cold RC Cola. So what do you guys think? Uh, keeper, seller on this one? Sell. 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 Everybody wants keep, to sell it? Keep. Oh, keep. mom's going to say keep for sure. I knew mom would say keep. Uh, I like the car. Um, I really don't know what I would do with it from here. Anyway, we're not really sure what's going to happen with this car. If it's up to me, I'll probably sell it, try to make a little bit on it move on to the next one that's kind of my normal uh thing is to just sell them and move on to the next one when i'm done with them but it does need a lot of glass and trim pieces that would probably be really hard to get it's got a little bit of rust in the rockers and stuff that could easily be repaired man it's nice we got all kinds of other project cars around here we need to get on the super coupe video again i keep saying that but i really really need to get on the super coupe video trying to get that thing running i'd love to get the fairmont engine uh going to we need to get brakes on that savoy the 64 savoy we need to get brakes on the 65 dark coupe we need to get brakes on the 81 malibu sounds you know. like you need to work on some brakes i got some serious brake work i need to do around here you can check us out on instagram tiktok and facebook at sleeper dude 88 <laughs> sleeper dude 88 it's squeezy hey, and you can check out our second channel at sleeper dude 2 exactly and you can buy our merchandise below our videos if you look down below. I can't really talk for the sweat pouring in my eyes. It's so hot out here today. Not a good day to be outside, really. <laughs> sweat pouring in my eyes. Yeah. We'll see you guys in the next video. We really appreciate you guys watching. You're what makes this possible for us. We'll keep fixing them. You keep watching the videos. That's the deal we made. Slap that like button and su subscribe. <laughs> you want them to subscribe? Yeah, we do need some people to subscribe. That would be nice. You will sit? There you go. Where's Scooter? Scooter, come here. Come on, buddy. He's so scared to do anything. What are you scared of? Scooter. There you go, buddy. That's that good stuff. Anyway, we'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. <laughs> oh, gosh, Scooter, what was that? <laughs> he ate so fast he got choked on it. As of right now, we're going to try to go to uh, Ford Fest in Bowling Green. We also are wanting to go to Cletus and Cars, Bristol. I think both of those are in September. Uh, those are the main two right now we know we want to go to. We may end up, I don't know, we may end up going to another one in September. It seems like we have a bunch in September, so I'm not sure which other ones we're going to be able to make it to, but we'll let you guys know. That's a birthday present. It is exactly. not. That is a birthday present. Go, oh, taking you, hey, the water park, taking though, you to a car show the water is park, like though. a birthday present. Yeah, Mom brings those little fans that don't hardly work, and then they break, and then you're just like <laughs> straining in the heat, and then we walk around with like, oh, let's go look at some cars. And like, we've already seen them before. Look at that. We've seen these cars all. two laps around. Let's just look at them again. <laughs> all right, I'm sorry. I tell you too much. Oh, that's okay. Sorry.